Hello, everybody. This is Jeff at Obedia here to give you a overview of the VST implementation in Reason 9.5. This only works with VST 2.4, and that's the most universal VST platform out there. Therefore, VST 3 is not incorporated inside of Reason 9.5. To access your VSTs, you want to look to your browser section in either the instruments or the effects area, or simply right click and browse your instruments and effects like normal. So as you see here, all my VST companies are listed. So if you go to your instrument section in, in your browser, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to use Serum. So I'm going to click and drag this inside the rack. Now with VST Incorporated and Reason, you now get a specific device for your VST. So this is your VST instrument device. To open up your VST, you wanna click the VST area. So here's Serum inside of Reason 9.5. The first thing they allow you to do with VSTs and Reason is to keep open. And so what this keep open section does is when you open up another VST, typically the window with the previous VST open will close and the new one will take its place. I can turn this on and then browse for another VST such as Reverb Solo. Now when I open this, both Serum and Reverb Solo is open because I told Serum to keep open although new VST window opens. If I don't do this, watch as I open up Serum first, and then I go to open up Reverb Solo. It replaces that window. All right. Moving on. Automate is your next option here. So what Automate does is allow any of the parameters, as long as it's given by the manufacturer, to be automatable in the sequencer. So if I move Serum, and I'm going to show the sequencer and hide the browser. Here is Serum. If I click Automate, click and move any parameter in Serum and let go, an automation lane is created. So one more time, I'm going to click Automate. And this time, we're going to automate the detuning of oscillator A. Click, move, and let go. You see the automation lane is created. The similar function works by using the remote command when we want to map any of our MIDI devices to um, a parameter in the VST. So if I were to click remote, I can click any parameter as it says. So I'm gonna click the oscillator A detune and then it's gonna ask me what control surface, meaning what MIDI device. So I'm gonna choose my MIDI device and then on my MIDI device, I'm going to trigger or move whatever I want to control the detuning in oscillator A. And you will see that activity here. When that activity shows up and that blue line starts moving, click OK. And now you can move that parameter on your MIDI device and that will control whatever you selected. The last option is screenshot. So I'm going to show the rack window for this. So what screenshot does is it takes an image of your current viewing of your plugin and it uses that as the VST image when either displaying it in the rack or in the browser. So watch as I take the screenshot of Serum, then I'm gonna close and you see Serum is now the look of the VST section here. So that is the VST integration inside of Reason 9.5. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. 
Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.